Hi students, welcome back to my channel. Let's now talk about hyper secretion of insulin. So hyper secretion of insulin is otherwise called hyper insulinism. Hyper insulinism. This is caused due to uh, due to hyper secretion hyper secretion of insulin hyper secretion of insulin the amount of uh, the amount of glucose the amount of glucose is decreases in blood. So due to hypo, hyper secretion of insulin, the amount of glucose decreases in the blood. This condition is called, this condition is called uh, hypoglycemia. hypoglycemia in this hypoglycemic stage in this hypoglycemic stage in this hypoglycemic stage so what happens means the body cells I mean takes more and more glucose so hyperinsulinism due to hyper secretion of insulin the amount of glucose is decreases in blood. This condition is called hypoglycemia. So in this hypoglycemic uh, stage, the body cells uh, takes more and more glucose. Body cells takes more and more oxygen, takes more and more a glucose. So in this hypoglycemic condition, body cell takes more and more glucose from the blood. So the need of uh, so a need of glucose to the nervous system. nervous system the retina of the eye and report germinal epithelium so the need of glucose uh, for nervous system, uh, retina of the eye and germinal epithelium. Germinal epithelium is not fulfilled. Is not fulfilled. So thus, thus the patient, thus the patient feels loss of uh, or else we can say that the patient feels or as a result the loss of uh, reproductive of power and vision or a sight vision or sight and due to excessive due to excessive due to excessive irritation due to excessive irritation of brain cells of brain cells the patient 
patient feels exhausted patient feels exhausted exhausted unconsciousness unconsciousness cramps and even die the patient become dead now let's see the symptoms of this uh, hypoglycemia so hyperinsulinism is caused due to amount of glucose increases in the blood in this hypoglycemic state body cells takes more and more glucose from the blood so the need of glucose to the nervous system retain of the eye and germinal epithelium not fulfilled so as a result the patient feels a loss of reproductive power a vision and due to excessive irritation of these brain cells uh, the patient uh, may feel subject exhaustion exhausted unconsciousness cramps and even die so this is about in hyperinsulinism now let us see the symptoms of this let's now see the symptoms a symptoms of uh, hyperinsulinism that means uh, uh, hypoglycemia so symptoms of hypoglycemia weakness profuse sweating over sweating irritability irritation confusion convulsion and consciousness so what are the symptoms of this hypoglycemia in this condition the weak the patient becomes weakness the patient get profuse sweating on and off getting their sweating over sweating irritability hyper irritation usually will get what a hyper irritation confusion what to do the I main confusion convulsions it may fits it also called fits unconsciousness sometimes it may be to what a unconsciousness these are the symptoms of this hyper hypoglycemia if needful if need uh, given uh, glucose or sugar to the patient if it is needful in that condition so given to the patient the glucose or sugar so that can be some extent reduced at that situation now let's see another important uh, the factor yeah now let's see the differences between hypoglycemic hyperglycemic and hypoglycemic so far we discuss what is hypoglycemia and what are the symptoms of this hypoglycemia now let us see the what the differences between hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia uh, let us take for example the first one first uh, hyperglycemia this is caused by due to deficiency of uh, insulin so insulin deficiency leads to hyperglycemia whereas a hypoglycemia it is caused by excessive secretion so excessive secretion of uh, insulin excessive secretion of insulin leads to hypoglycemia in this uh, hyperglycemia the levels of glucose levels a uh, glucose levels or uh, levels in blood decreases sorry so glucose levels in the blood is increases increases here and here the glucose levels or decreases levels in the blood decreases 
So due to deficiency of insulin, uh, so glucose is unable to absorbing. So therefore levels of glucose increases in the blood. But in the case of what a hypoglycemia, that insulin uh, excessive secretion, therefore there is no amount of glucose in the blood. Alright, now coming to the another point. Yes, uh, the breaking down of muscle tissue, hyperglycemia, it is uh, the main uh, the sim the means breaking down of what muscle tissue. But in the case of what a hypoglycemia, the patient get hunger. Tiredness or fatigue in hyperglycemia, that condition is seen. But in the case of what a hypoglycemia, sweating, irritability, and double vision. So these are the differences between uh, hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. Hyperglycemia means insulin is caused by insulin deficiency. Hypoglycemia means excessive secretion, hypersecretion of insulin. That is why it is called hypersecretion of insulin is called insulinism, hyperinsulinism. In this case, glucose levels are high in the blood. In this case, glucose levels are uh, low in the blood. And what is the tiredness or fatigue and breakdown of hot muscles over here? And then here hunger, sweating, irritability and double vision. So these are the what, differences between uh, hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. Then one more uh, difference is the one more uh, other important uh, the feature is that is called differences between uh, difference. Let's see that is differences between uh, insulin dependent diabetes and non insulin dependent diabetes. Let's see the word differences. So let's now talk about differences between insulin diabetes uh, dependent diabetes mellitus and non-insulin uh, dependent diabetes mellitus. The insulin dependent diabetes mellitus is commonly called type 1 diabetes. This is called top, type 1 diabetes. This is also called juvenile. So juvenile diabetes. And non-insulin dependent diabetes, this is also called type 2 diabetes. Type 2. Type 2 diabetes or else we can call it as MODI. This is otherwise called MODI. Maturity onset of diabetes of youth. Diabetes mellitus of youth. That means uh, maturity Onset diabetes mellitus of uh, the youth or the younger. That is called uh, MODI. Now let's see the differences here. Insulin dependent diabetes is onset of uh, this less than 20 years. I mean before 20 years, 20 to 30 years the disease can be seen in the people. But in the case of this what non-insulin dependent diabetes is onset of more than 30 years. In insulin dependent diabetes the weight is normally normal weight, normal according to expected age. But in the case of non-insulin dependent diabetes the weight is becomes uh, obese. The child becomes obesity, the obese person's personality. And in the case of uh, insulin dependent diabetes, the patient suffers, uh, I mean frequently suffers with uh, ketoacidosis. But in case of these uh, non-insulin dependent diabetes, uh, ketoacidosis is seen rarely. And uh, insulin diabetes mellitus, this is same, I mean, uh, this is severe insulin deficiency, but in the case of what non-insulin diabetes dependent diabetes mellitus is a relatively insulin deficiency. So depletion due to this insulin deficiency, I mean uh, diabetes, de de insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, depletion of beta cells can seen. So it occur, I mean is seen now uh, more beta cells are what depletion here. Yeah? And here the, what the very less the mild beta cells uh, depletion can be seen in uh, non-insulin diabetes, non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. 
All right. So these are the what differences between insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Then let's say the one more small concept is missing that is a called insulin shock. So insulin shock. So what is insulin shock? After physical exercises physical exercises or uh, fasting fasting if a diabetic patient if a diabetic patient takes an insulin injection insulin injection after physical exercises or fasting if a diabetic patient takes an insulin injection the glucose levels so glucose levels in the blood glucose levels in the blood is reducing quickly is reduce quickly up to 40 milligrams per 100 ml of a blood of plasma got it this condition is called insulin shock so after physical exercises or uh, fasting, if a diabetic patient takes an injection, uh, insulin injection, so glucose levels in the blood that quickly reduces up to 40 milligrams per 100 ml of blood. So this condition is named as, this condition is called uh, insulin shock. So due to this insulin shock, the patient may get coma or may die or unconscious. Alright, so this is about uh, insulin shock. If you like this video, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.